Dropouts was popping. It's your boy Jordan Dropout, and a Captain Marvel trailer too just dropped. And word on the street is we'll be getting the Avengers 4 trailer on Wednesday. And another word on the street is we'll be getting a Spider-Man Far From Home trailer a couple of days after that. So it's about to be a crazy week for Marvel. But anyway, today we're here for Captain Marvel. So that's enough talking. Let's see what it's talking about. So scrolls are the bad guys. <laughs> Granted, I'll play no guys. Heroes. Noble warrior heroes. Granted, I'll play no guys. Your life began the day it nearly ended. We found you. With no memory, we made you one of us. So you could live longer, Creep stronger. Blood. Superior. You were reborn. I keep having these memories. Something in my past is the key to all of this. You know how to fly this thing? We'll see. That's a yes or no question. Yes. I'm just waiting on him to say mother. Okay. What you really are. I think I have a life here. Why are you telling me? You've come a long way. But you're not as strong as you think. This war is just the beginning. I'm not going to fight your war. I'm gonna end it. That's clean. That's clean. That's clean. Aren't you the cutest little thing? Aren't you cute? And what's your name, huh? Curious. I'll be back. Okay. So. I like it. It looks good to me. I don't see where all the hate is coming from. This movie has been getting hate since Brie, since Brie Larson was announced to be playing Captain Marvel. And I don't, I just don't see it. Like people saying that she's boring and she's, she seems like she doesn't care about the role. But from seeing this trailer, I, I don't see that. I could understand why. I guess I could understand why somebody would say that for the first trailer, but this trailer looks pretty cool to me. When she went Super Saiyan, and I know that's not Super Saiyan, by the way. I know that's her binary powers, but when she went Super Saiyan, that was lit. I mean, it looked good. And I saw uh, Nick Fury, when Nick Fury was playing with the cat that we all know is not really a cat. I cannot remember her name right now, but I know they changed it. They changed the name for the movie, and, um, you know, fans are being upset because of the name change but i mean it's that's not major but it looks cool to me the scrolls scrolls look all right but uh i'm excited to see this movie because we know captain marvel is the strongest avenger she'll be the strongest person that we've seen in the avengers thus far so i'm excited to see what she does i don't know man the trailer looked good to me i'm not gonna sit here and read a bunch of stuff about captain marvel on wikipedia just so i can come to you and act like i know everything about the character because i don't but i think the trailer looks good and i know she's gonna be the strongest avenger that we've seen so far so i'm, I'm excited to see i'm excited to see this movie i know that this film has a lot riding on it i mean she is the strongest avenger so she's the one that's gonna save us from thanos so I can kind of see where people are coming from because, like, we've been so invested into these characters over the last 10 years, you know, with uh, starting with Iron Man and Captain America, Hulk, Thor, all these characters that we've been growing with and just learning to love. And now she's just going to pop up in the forefront. It does seem almost shoehorned in, but I got faith in Marvel. I mean, it's retroactively. She's been around longer than pretty much everybody except for maybe Cap anyway, but... I got faith. Marvel will pull it off. They'll figure out how to do it. Man, I'm sold. I mean, I was, I've been sold. I never had any doubts that I would go see this movie, but this trailer looked good to me. I don't, I don't understand the hate. 
Man, I just cannot wait for that Avengers 4 trailer now, but you know, I really don't even need an Avengers 4 trailer. I know y'all have heard people say, just tell us when to go to the movies and I'd be down for that. But you know, marketing is pretty big, so they gotta do a trailer. But if they couldn't, I might not even watch the trailer for Avengers 4 whenever they drop it. Man, let me be for real. I'll probably end up hitting play 10 seconds after I say I won't watch that trailer. I wouldn't be able to help myself. It does kind of seem like they shot themselves in the foot by killing Spider-Man in Infinity War because Spider-Man Far From Home is going to be releasing right after Infinity War and the marketing for that film does have to start well before Infinity War hits theaters. But who really thought Spider-Man wasn't coming back? But at the same time, I wish they wouldn't have killed him because when they show these trailers for Spider-Man Far From Home, it's like, ain't you dead, bro? What you doing back over here? You dead, bro? So... I'm ex not excited. Um, I'm interested in seeing how they market this film without spoiling the fact that everybody's coming back in Avengers 4. Because spoiler alert, everybody that dusted is coming back in Avengers 4. <sighs> but that's a video. Those are my thoughts on the Captain Marvel trailer. It looks good to me. Do you feel like Brie Larson fits the role as Captain Marvel? Are you excited to see this movie? Do you think it's going to be bad? If you do think it's going to be bad, I think you're wrong. But anyway, let me know down in the comments below. And as always, y'all be good. Be blessed. Later.